Hi guys, welcome back to another video. From today's video onwards, we are going to start with a new topic called as string. So our first question in string is reverse words in a given string. The question states that given a string s, reverse the string without reversing its individual words. Words are separated by dots. Let's consider the examples. In example 1, the string is I like this program very much. So if we consider the dot as delimiter, then the output is much very program this like I with the dot in between of each word. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider a string S1 which is I dot like dot this dot program. Let's declare few variables namely length and initialize it to the length of the string as well as a variable R and we also declare another string S2 which is used to store a output string. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm where first we traverse the string from last character to the first character that is from i is equal to length minus 1 to i is equal to 0 and at each traversal we check whether if s1 of i is equal to dot. Since m is not equal to dot therefore we decrement the value of i. Now i points to a. Again a is not equal to dot therefore we keep on decrementing the value of i until we reach a character which is equal to dot. So at index 11 we encountered a character such that s1 of 11 is equal to dot. Therefore we calculate the value of r as length minus i which is 8 as well as we update the value of length as i minus 1 which is 10. And then we append the substring from i plus 1 to r into a newly created string which is s2. So now s2 contains the string program and then we append a dot after it. Now we decrement i, now i points to s and again we keep on checking whether we encounter a dot. So at index 6 again we get a dot that is s1 of i is equal to dot therefore again we update the value of r as length minus i which is 4 as well as we update the value of length as i minus 1 which is 5 and then we uh, append the substring from i plus 1 to r into a string s2. So the updated value or the updated string s2 is now program.dis and then we update a dot at the end. Again we decrement i and keep on decrementing i till we find a dot. So at index 1 we have encountered a dot therefore we update the value of length as sorry we update the value of r as length minus i which is 4 and the value of length as i minus 1 which is 0. And then we append the substring from i plus 1 to r to a string s2. So we have appended the string like as well as we append a dot at the end and then decrement i. Now s1 of 0 is not equal to dot therefore again we decrement i. Now we have reached a condition where i is equal to minus 1. And since i is not greater than or equal to 0, therefore we end the for loop and finally we append the substring from 0 to length plus 1 into a string s2. That is finally a character is left which is i. So we append that character into a string s2. And so a final output is program.this.like.i. So now let's look at the actual code. The driver code is already given and we just need to complete the function reverse words whose return type is string and the argument is string s1. So as we have seen in the explanation part, we have created another string s2 as well as we declared few variables namely r and length. Then we run a for loop from i is equal to length minus 1 to 0 and at each iteration we check whether if s1 of i is equal to dot. If so, then we update the value of r as length minus i and the value of length as i minus 1. And then we append the substring using the substr function from i plus 1 to r into a newly created string s2 as well as we append a dot at the end. And finally after the for loop we append the remaining part of the string that is from 0 to length plus 1 and finally we return a string s2. So we can compile the code. So the code is compiled and we can submit it now.
and it got submitted successfully. So if you found the video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations. Thank you.